All right, my friends, it is time. That's right. It is arena PVP comp time for Mystic Flower. And today we're going to bring three teams to you that I'm excited to break down in today's episode. Thank you for tuning in. As always, if you have a question, if you got a comment, let me know because I'd love to hear from you and would love to see you in our amazing community and Discord server, my friends, because we can never certainly get enough gotcha. Now, with that, let's get into it here today. We're going to break down three teams. Like I said, you can find all that information down below in the details for you in the timestamps along with a lot of other great information my friends like how to get mystic flower as a free-to-play player like myself all right so let's get into it here because you are here to see this cookie in action here today in pvp we're only going with flamingo treasure the old pilgrim scroll and conductor's whistle i'm just kidding we're not just playing with this one here i just like to set it up that way all right so here is what we are going with first we're actually going to do a mystic flower blueberry pie attack team so the way that this really works here is the combination between so we're enhancing a little bit of electric type combination between stormbringer and blueberry pie so with the last update um we got but not this one with mystic flower the previous one we were able to get magic candies for blueberry pie big thing on that is that cookie gives more damage plus through the crit damage with things like Lovely, lovely Stormbringer here. So additionally, what we're doing is we're staying on the defensive side. We're using Financier Cookie to kind of protect your damage dealers. Um, Storm, uh, the lovely Elder Fairy here, which is just an amazing tank. And then additionally here, my friends, we do have that Mystic Flower. Now we're focused on attack and cooldown. A couple things that you could use here instead. You could try the Psy if you wanted to. Um, again, that's mainly going to be predicated and focused on those electric cookies, so that might not be a bad one. Additionally here, you could go with this Sleepyheads Jelly Watch. If you need a little bit more defense, um, you can certainly go with Disciples Magic Scroll. If you want to go with regular crit, you can do that there. Um, or some good ones to remove debuff and things like that from your opponents could be Explorer's Monocle. So all good options there for you to consider for this one. Again, predicated on a combination of defense and electric type with Blueberry, because Blueberry can allow your team to put out some pretty crazy damage uh, as well. Now, in terms of our gear, as always, toppings and biscuits, my friends. Now here, both do matter for you in PvP Arena. Um, we always recommend Resonant when it makes sense, and Radiant, and then for the biscuits, same thing here now with the tainted stuff that's coming out here soon, those kinds of things. Put priority where it matters, as we like to say. Now, we do have all the toppings and biscuit guides available to you. Um, here on the channel you can check those out along with our playlist that is available to you um, in the description all right so a couple things here we're predicated on crit um generally our biscuits this one's a great one for us here um is gonna be at 30. um most of them will probably have two to three in terms of stats um, and then generally you're just gonna want to be on legendary and get those things up i like to show these things because as a free-to-play player here we're never fully masked max this is one of the better biscuits that i do have um, made that investment certainly made a huge difference for me personally now in totality you can see that across all our gear you can see that as well um and then of course just from the topping so here we do have the elder fairy now as well we're going to stay on defense um you could consider cooldown if you wanted to um, we'll stay there on biscuit we are only at level 20 and we only have hp there um in terms of finance here we're, we'll go cooldown on this one because we do want to keep that survivability up for our cookies here on our biscuit once again not even 20 um, damage resist certainly can make improvements there here on blueberry we're on cooldown um, in this case now the other thing here that you can do because this one can be your damage dealer um, certainly we have our legendary biscuit here with damage resist bypass you could um, go this route with the new route as well let's go back into this cookie apologies um, do this in your other one you could go with crit because this is going to be our key damage one um, absolutely feel free to go that route we're going to equip all these here um, just quickly to show you that as well and part of the reasoning behind that we'll put that survivability on there that one's pretty good um, damage resist crit percent all good stuff that we could actually put on stormbringer um, we'll still, we'll keep it this way though for now um, is primarily again going back to this particular cookie let's see if we can get into it no nope, we'll go back uh, is this here is all the scaling when it comes to crit um, 
is a huge, huge thing here. It really stacks and makes a big difference. Um, additionally, the uh, other pieces there from the tomb. Um, and again, when we look at this one here, this is exactly what I'm talking about. 2% per 1% of crit capped at 200%. So all big pieces there, crit damage goes up 15% for 10 seconds, stacks up to one. So staying on that crit is a good option. So I'll make sure that we have that there. That's why I'm calling that out as well for you. Um, so all big pieces. And then last but not least, when it comes to our beast, um, I was able to get four here with this one. Whew good with that um, certainly you can go on a much faster cooldown if you want to focus on that because cooldowns big with the beast um, absolutely feel free to go that route we do have the toppings here to help us get there um, and certainly I do have across all gear um, a little bit more room to go there on our cooldown so um, all great spots for you to consider and improve that is the breakdown of this team um, and the treasures so essentially the tactics the toppings the treasures um, and the team for us for our first one again electric slash blueberry pie is the name of the game here when it comes to this team all right so now that we've talked about this team let's put this team to action i will be able to get back to elite here today not too worried about it um i'll fast forward through this quickly here so we can get to the elite match or matches that are close um in terms of where we're at this one's a little bit higher so let's go ahead and not fast forward through it you can see how this team works um, this one is a little bit of an off meta team uh, regardless though let's go ahead and hit it up and see how it goes we are a little bit in a better position you can see how all this stuff stacks here um, on our side my friends with the electric type damage up um, obviously we have our mystic flower cookie and dealing with some of our earth-esque opponents As always, we got swag and merch available. It's a nice way to support the channel. Thank you. All right, so there you have it, my friends. Just a quick high level. Um, we can absolutely rewatch um, as well, or you can take a look at the stats. You can see kind of how these things work. Um, here we're doing 34% with Blueberry. We do have 51% there. Um, again, good, good stacking in terms of the way that that works. Damage done, you can see that. 4 million, about half there, um, with almost three, well, almost three, so not too bad um, in terms of what's going on there. Damage received, most of it is on Elder Fairy, those kinds of things. Healing's going to be right there, my friends. Look at that. Healing done. All right, so that is a quick run there, a little bit more of a breakdown. Let's see if we go up yet or if it just resets. Looks like we got a few more to go. Let's see if we got something a little bit more meta. Here we go. We do have one right here, Mystic Flower versus Mystic Flower. They're on a little bit more defense. We do have a little bit higher attack here because of Blueberry um, in terms of the way our setup is. However, they could have more attack there with Frost Queen. Frost Queen um, is a one star. Let's go ahead uh, and duke it out here. Again, like I said, something a little closer to meta. And no, this is not one of the teams um, that I am showing today. However, certainly can be an option uh, for you as well. One of the things there, there we go, took it down nice and fast. Um, one of the things there, again, that helps us propel is that enhanced electric type damage because of Blueberry. One other option to throw in there, um, if you run into Frost, you could go a little bit of a counter with um, our lovely, lovely friend, Ice Kalietti. All right, so that one's a little low. Let's run this one. This one's a little bit higher. Um, again, not quite full meta because we don't have the Mystic uh flower in there but certainly a two elite look at that three thousand i don't know if we're gonna get this one if we do great um they're a little bit further ahead than we are again certainly very powerful team there we were able to unleash tons and tons of damage there but we did lose a ton of our stuff we really need that stormbringer to connect they do have their ethereal cookie, which is a problem for us. If we can turn this around, it's just financier on storm and financier. We might have this, my friends. Wow. 
Wow, there we go. Took down a top 3,000 player there for you with our Blueberry Pie Stormbringer Mystic Flower team. Now, that's a good one to close out this team with. And let's go focus on our next team, my friends. All right. So again, that was our Blueberry Pie one. The next one that we're going to cover is this one. A little bit different. So I like this one because we're playing in on the Cloud Haite and Mystic Flower uh, boost combo um, pieces and buff between those two. So I do like that. We're focusing in on a little bit of a different kind of damage between Ice and and our uh, golden cheese and then still having stormbringer in here i would consider this one more of a little bit of a mid-range uh because we have two damage dealers in here um two kind of defense s cookies and our healer versus this one they could say this is probably a little bit mid-range too but this is a little less focused um, on damage whereas this one is a little bit different now other swaps what you learn quickly here is we are at our team limits relatively fast and you can see that here um, what it doesn't allow us to do is get other cookies in here like uh, lily white lily as an example um, or if you want to take advantage of something like black pearl um, for that soul jam as well however again we're running this in terms of ice uh, perspective so giving you a couple of other ideas just like the last one that you can kind of move around and play with um, in terms of your teams here this one is a little bit different now um, again calling that attack strategy out we are going to be focused on attack uh, the whistle and then cooldown we talked about some of the swaps that you can make before on the last one certainly you could do that uh, in this one as well in terms of our gear here we're going to stay the same um, just that friendly reminder that we do have all these toppings and biscuits uh, guides here on the channel and a playlist down below here on Haite, a little bit different um, you can go off of this in terms of a, a, a doubling up uh, in terms of some of the defense structure and this is really kind of your main tank we could flip over to attack the nice thing about my high tech cookie here is um i do have fairly high damage resist on my attack so we're actually going to go that route and in terms of our beast kit again i did get four on it which is great primarily because i've been using that in pv uh e um so we'll stick to that pre-select um if you can do that it definitely definitely helps a little bit more and be a little bit more on the attack side now in terms of golden cheese we're on our attack as always here's our beast kit i only have cooldown i'm not at 30. um frost queen we do have a relatively nice beast kit here tons of damage resist bypass lots of attack and our radiant resident toppings uh, my total power with this thing is over a million there you go you can see it certainly can go up more um, actually, no, it can't because we do have that 30 on there, which is great. And then back to where we're at there. So um, that is the idea and concept of this team. A little bit more attack forward, attack heavy um, in terms of the way this one works. We're going to try and stay away from Ice Cold Yeti because we talked about that Ice Cold Yeti before. Let's see if we can quickly just run through some things. I'll run this one. A little bit more of the higher attack one, or sorry, a little bit more of the higher power. My power is still fairly high. We should be able to steam all these fairly quickly here. There we go. And there we have it, my friends. And even as I said, stay away from the Ice Kalietti. We still hit the Ice Kalietti. All right, there we go. Onwards and upwards. Nope, not quite yet. Okay. So let's just do this. We'll run through these real quick. And let's go find another most of that team. And by that, we're saying anything with Mystic Flower for the most part. All right. So a little bit different one there. Here we go. Here's a Mystic Flower team. Now, again, this one's a little bit different. This one has similar to what we just talked about. They're going to have the cleanse. Um, additionally, here they're running uh, White Lily. And again, this is one of the swaps that we talked about. Instead of White Lily, um, you could have Golden Cheese. So this will be a nice, fun matchup for us. The thing that I have in terms of an advantage is probably and most certainly my Frost Queen is a little bit ahead here. Um, they do have additional 
survivability here with financier cookie we took that off um that is another strategy that you can do instead of cloud high if you don't want to try and run this piece and then additionally uh burnt cheese cookie uh, is also another one that can help a little bit better in survivability. That might be the better combo with golden cheese as well. So, all right, we're not going to fast forward through it. Let's play through this one here. This is a three elite. A good lineup for us. 12,000 versus our 40,000. Whoa. Oh, 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 look at that, my friends. We absolutely wrecked. We wrecked through that one. That was absolutely incredible. Um, and that moves us on up. So a very valiant one there for us with that team. Whew, that was that was nice. Now, again, we are a little bit higher in terms of the attack power. Um, we talked about some of the things that we had an advantage of on that, but certainly always a nice feels good um, to take down a uh, well-earned uh, elite three there um, so let's go ahead to our third and final team for us here today um, which is going to be this one right here the absolute new turtle or the four defense team so a couple things around this one um, we are running the ice Yeti. Um, it might not be as common as some of the other stuff that you're seeing but i'm doing this again to offset um, Frost Queen, uh, again, just like the last team that we ran, you'll still see a lot of that. Um, we do have our Financier Cookie for survivability. We got our Stormbringer. That's going to be the key damage dealer for us once again. And then Elder Fairy in there. A couple things around this, our gear on this one, we are using Explorer's Monocle. We do have Sleepyhead's Jelly Watch and Dream Conductor's Whistle. Again, we talked about some of the other stuff previously that you can change, but that's where we're sitting. Um, you can always move that over to attack. Those three are always pretty consistent um, and certainly things that you can move around based off what, what works for you, what doesn't. The other thing that's nice about this particular team is we're not hitting our team limits, my friends. Um, so in terms of gear, we've talked about this a few times um, and, and uh, Elder Fairy here, we're going to stay on defense. Here we're on crit. Here we're on cooldown. Um, and then again, really, this is going to be oop, cool down there. In terms of our friend right there, finance here, we're going to stay on that cooldown. Um, and then here we're on cooldown as well. So all those similar things. So again, this is more that four defense-esque style team. This thing really kind of had a comeback um, a little bit ago with the uh, lovely, lovely Stormbringer update. Uh, we talked about that. You can check out some of those guides uh, that we put together as well so you can see that. So that is all she wrote in terms of this team. Let's go ahead and bring this one into battle. This should be a good matchup here because this one is, once again, a Mystic Flower team. They are a little bit lower on level. However, their power level is higher than mine. Um, so let's go ahead and go after it here and see this lineup. Now this time, I am the elite and they are not. Um, but, and however, a very, very close ranking. Um, you'll be able to hopefully see here how well the survivability of this team works, just due to so much defense. Um, and again, a lot of that damage going in there um, through that Stormbringer and slowly picking a lot of these pieces off. And it just kind of slowly uh, snowballs. So as long as you kind of can keep knocking something out or taking it down, this team will get the job done and the trick to overcome your enemies. And there we have it. So that was a really nice, good lineup and match for us, um, which is always great. There we go. Top 36K. Now, let's see what else. Let's try a little bit. Here's another one. Um, this time, the, this team is more focused on attack. So this will be an interesting lineup again for us. A little bit higher power. Not, I would say, too crazy high, because once again, you can have your Frost Queen like me on one, uh, one million. Um, good defense here, as always, with Crimson, and then a lot of those key cookies um, that we've seen over time. Definitely very, very biased, like I said, uh, towards that attack. And we're a full-blown defense play. So we'll see how these two line up, because I expect a ton of damage from our opponent just like that. Mystic Flower, we were able to keep alive. We were able 
to take some things out on our opponent's side. Mystic Flower is recovered. We have Icicle Yeti in there as well. We just need to get one nice big clip and hit here. All right. It's going to be close, my friends. Haven't quite taken out theirs yet. We need a big, big hit from Stormbringer. There we go. There's a nice, huge one. And that, my friends, did the trick. Part of it is just being able to survive towards the end, because then Stormbringer's output is going to be able to do so much damage relative to generally the squishiness of your opponent's uh, cookies there. So that's a good lineup there for us. Um, let's see here. Let's do one off meta team. And then that will be our final battle for us here today. Mainly I want to play this one because we got a Cotton in here. We do have a Stormbringer. Um, and they are running the damage resist bypass. And there you go, my friends. Nice mincemeat for us on this final run. All right, so that concludes today's episode, my friends. I certainly hope you enjoyed it. We had a great time breaking down three teams here for you in terms of our new Mystic Flower. Um, and a couple things about this here. Again, we did a Blueberry Pie combination electric plus uh, Mystic Flower. Whoops, wrong one. We did a more attack-oriented uh, team with the Cloud Haite um, Mystic Flower kind of combo buffs. And then the last one here was really our four defensive turtle play. Um, all worked very well for us here. Nice lineups. It's good to have options relative to your team and relative to what your opponents are playing so you can navigate and move around, counter, attack, all those fun things. So with that, my friends, that is and will be today's episode for you here on our Kingdom Arena teams all around Mystic Flower for three of them here. If you still have a question, if you get a comment, let me know because I love to hear from you as always. And on top of that, would love to see you in our amazing community and Discord server, my friends. We certainly have a good time there all the time. Now, with that, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode. I appreciate your support. Thank you for the likes and the subs as we continue to grow this amazing community here as always, um, and I appreciate all that. Um, lastly, also, uh, thank you to all of our members. We do have memberships available to you. We have a swag and merch store, and on top of that, affiliate links, all really nice ways to support, so thanks. Don't forget our socials, at me, chat me, stay connected, my friends. Um, it's a great way uh, to see new things, as always, and share your things, because I like featuring your stuff here on the channel. Last, as and not least, because we're going to say that a lot, um, is get out there, enjoy your Mystic Flower teams. Lots of things that you can sub in regardless if you don't have Mystic Flower. However, we do have that guide, like I said, in order to help you as a free-to-play player get that cookie. Um, and with that, get out there. Best of luck in King Marina, as always, and keep on running, my friends. We'll see you soon.